we know we should avoid nested if statements, if this, then if this, then if this, but should we use ifs, switch, or xlookup? Well, let's take a look at them all and you can decide. Let's go. Okay, I've got an example here of where if the status is yes, I wanna give result 10, if it's no, I want a zero, and if it's a maybe, I want five. And I've set this up with an if. So if C5 equals yes, then 10, if C5 equals maybe, then five, if, and so on with all the brackets on the end. It's not ideal, okay? It's a big, horrible formula. So quite a while back, if S or ifs came along. Let me just show you the concept here, equals ifs. Really, it stops you having to do all the nested ifing. It, you can just do this way. So you can say, look, if C5 uh, equals yes, then 10 otherwise. And you don't have to do if again. And by the way, put spaces in your formulas to make these things easier to read. So you can say C5 equals maybe, then five, and C5, equals no, all right, then zero, okay? So not lots of different brackets, and you can copy this formula down. Great. Um, when you're doing this as well, another little tip, maybe the old Alt-Enter to put things onto a new line. So Alt-Enter, 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 and maybe even put this last bracket down the bottom, you know, especially if it's a bit more complicated than this. And then, you know, it's a bit nicer to read. Okay, so where does switch come in? Okay, well, equals switch. What's the expression? Well, grab the value from C5, but rather than grabbing it multiple times, you just grab it once and then you evaluate it. Okay, so where it's yes, the answer is 10, where it's maybe, the answer is five, and when it's no, the answer is zero. You don't even need that, potentially don't need that no if you've only got those three options. You can just say otherwise zero. Okay, so switch comes with an optional sort of at the end. If there's nothing else that it finds, just chuck that in. Great, but probably the better way for doing this exact scenario is the old friend XLOOKUP. So you have a little table with the results in, this is probably much easier, more robust, easier to change these things, easier to add a new element if something shows up. So equals X lookup, look up that value comma in this status column, comma, and bring back the uplift. And just press enter. All right, just easier. Beautiful. You know, I think even this person would be happy. Okay. Hold on. Did his face just change? Yes. Nice. There you go. If you want to see how I did this, I'll put a little link to the video at the end of this one. Okay. Back on with it. Let's take a look at an approximate match instead. So here we go. I want to find everything sort of less than five. I want to flag it as light. Less than 10, medium, greater than that, heavy. So the, here's the answers. And you can use the switch and true combination. And switch works in DAX. Switch and true works in DAX as well as Excel. So it's a really useful function to know about. Okay, let's take a look. What's the switch true function? Well, essentially, if you're doing a standard switch, it has to be an exact match if something equals something, and then it's fine. But if you want to do less than or greater than or those sorts of things, you have to actually put a true in there. So switch true which basically says, look, evaluate whichever of the following things is true. So you can say, okay, is this, is C7 less than five? If it is, then light. Okay, comma. And then you go, if C7 is less than um, 10, then it's medium. Okay, and as I said before, 
you can just put a heavy on the end. Okay, so that's a switch true. Not too bad. Okay, simple switch true. Um, works with greater than, less than, you know, all those sorts of things. Works really well. But then really, you know, let's have a look at XLOOKUP. Again, I've got a little weight table here starting at zero. So anything from zero up to five is light. Anything from five up to 10 is medium. And you can just do an XLOOKUP with an approximate match. XLOOKUP, that weight, comma, and this column, comma, and this result. But, but if I press enter, I get an NA because there's no exact matches. So what I need to do is a comma, match mode, okay, exact match or next smaller item, the minus one option, close the bracket, and there we go. Beautiful. All right, so light, medium, heavy, because six, the next smaller item, okay, than that is in this list, hits the five, so therefore it turns medium. The 12 here, the next smaller item is 10, so it returns heavy. Beautiful, there you go. Quick little demonstration. Hope you find it useful. I'm a big fan of Switch. I love XLOOKUP, and ifs are okay. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments in the notes below. Always like having your feedback, and I'll catch you in the next video.